Today, we're discussing the cosmic horizon, and we're breaking down the concept into three different levels of complexity to make it accessible for everyone. When you look up at the night sky, what do you see? The stars and galaxies that we can observe from our position in the universe, but what about the parts of the universe that we can't see? This is where the concept of the cosmic horizon comes in. Tier one. So let's start with the basics, a really simple explanation. The cosmic horizon is like the edge of what we can see in the sky. Imagine you're standing on a big hill and you can see as far as your eyes can reach. That's like the cosmic horizon for what we can see in the universe. Scientists use telescopes to help them see things that are far away, but there's still a limit to what they can see. And that's the cosmic horizon. Tier two. Let's dive a bit deeper. The cosmic horizon is the boundary beyond which we can no longer observe light from distant objects in the observable universe. In simpler terms, it's the limit of what we can see in the universe. The cosmic horizon is determined by the maximum distance light can travel in the age of the universe, which is approximately 46.5 billion light years away. Beyond this boundary, the universe extends much further, but light from these regions has not had enough time to reach us. Tier three, the cosmic horizon represents the fundamental limit of our ability to observe the universe due to the finite speed of light. It can be defined as the surface of last scatter of the cosmic microwave background radiation, beyond which photons have not had time to reach us since the Big Bang. The distance to the cosmic horizon is dependent on the expansion history of the universe as well as the present cosmological parameters. In our current understanding, the cosmic horizon is approximately 46.5 billion light years away and is constantly moving away from us as the universe expands, representing a crucial factor in our ability to understand the early universe and the formation of large scale structure. For more quick science quirks, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.